Today I have another accessory to add to my saw stop contractor saw. Right here is the dust collection panel. What's cool about the dust collection panel is that it adds a two and a half inch port and a four inch port to the back of the saw stop contractor saw. The contractor saw comes with a shroud around the blade that directs the dust to a four inch port and you can hook up a four inch hose directly to that port and run it out to your dust collector. This panel here adds an easy hookup to the back of the contractor saw uh, for easily hooking up either a four inch hose or a two and a half inch hose to the back of the saw, easier access and of course uh, you can use either of the two included ports. Let's go ahead and check out what's included in the box and get it onto the contractor saw. Inside the box uh, is the dust collection panel with both a four inch port and a two and a half inch port. On the inside of the panel, you can see the four inch goes straight through and the two and a half uh, has a reducer here from four down to the two and a half. There's also an included flexible hose with clamps uh, at both ends for hooking up this panel to the shroud that's around uh, the blade. And of course, the instruction manual. So here I am at the back of the contractor saw and you can see where I've got my hose coming out uh, the side of the saw. It's a four inch hose going to my dust collector. Let me show you up underneath there uh, where it's connecting to the dust shroud around the blade. I've got the hose coming out the side of the saw here and if I get up underneath here you can just make out the clamp there at the end of the hose and the shroud that it's connected to. From the top of the saw, you can see the dust shroud, the black plastic here on both sides of the blade that extend from the front of the blade all the way on both sides, all the way through to the back of the blade. Fully enclosing that blade on both sides, uh, all the way across the bottom that channels the dust into that four inch port. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and put the dust collection panel here on the back of the saw which will give us much easier access uh, for connecting our hose and if you want to use a shop vac, a two and a half inch port. And that's it. It took me just about 10 minutes to go ahead and change out the back panel here, just the four bolts, and got the two uh, dust ports there hooked up, and then just reaching up under and connecting the hose to the back panel there, and then of course up underneath to the dust shroud. Uh, just a couple minutes to tighten the hose clamps there, and we're all set to give it a shot. So I've gone ahead and hooked up my shop back to the dust collection port via the two and a half inch uh, hose connection. And I'm gonna go ahead and make a couple of rips in some eight quarter material and we'll check out how well it does. After two rips through eight quarter maple, you can see some spray of dust on the top, just a little bit. And if I go down beneath the saw, uh, you can see a little bit of spraying there on the floor that wasn't captured, just the speckles down there. And that is with a shop vac. Uh, I've been using this saw for a couple of weeks with my larger four inch uh, dust collector. And that is uh, pretty much just what I've been seeing with the dust collector collects about 90-95% uh, of the material, uh, leaving some dust spray both on top and underneath. And with the shop vac and a couple of test cuts, I'm seeing pretty much the same performance. So that is the dust collection panel here at the back of the saw stop contractor saw. You saw just how easy it was to install this. It took me about 10 minutes to pop off the carriage bolts, add the panel, put the bolts back on, and then go ahead and connect the hose up underneath. What I love about this uh, panel here is the ease of use here at the back of the saw. 
Uh, if I need to move my saw around or do other things, I can easily uh, connect my hose, disconnect my hose, move things around, do stuff. I've got all the access right here at the back rather than having to get up underneath the saw. The other thing I like about it is if you are going to use a two and a half inch port or use a shop vac, um, this has all the included parts that you need to get down to the two and a half. The dust shroud internally is a four inch port. Um, so of course you can go from four down to two and a half, but this has all the materials included, the panel, the step down, the uh, hose connections and everything. So I think it's a great use there. Is it a necessary accessory? Definitely not, but I've shown you what I really like about this and how I think that it's very useful. I did run a test with the two and a half inch port compared to the four inch. I've been using the four inch now for a couple of weeks. Um, actually not this port here, but uh, connected directly to the shroud with my dust collector using a uh, four inch hose. And uh, running the shop vac on the two and a half collected pretty much the same amount of material uh, that I've been seeing with the four inch hose. So I was really impressed with that performance. So there it is, the dust collection panel here at the back of the Sawstop Contractor Saw.